Hey folks, my name is Dave Steiner. I'm a web developer that's been using Twitter for, man, over a decade or something at this point. Uh, I thought I might make a helpful video for folks that wanted to maybe export their uh, tweets over the years. Maybe they wanted to delete some of their tweets. If you have a fairly large amount of tweets, specifically if you're above the API's limit of 3,200, uh, you're gonna need to use some outside services to get this done. Uh, this is what I use. It doesn't mean that it's the best way to do it. It just is showing a, a way that actually works. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do on Twitter is go uh, to this more area, go to settings and support, go to settings and privacy. You'll see that there's a download and archive of your data and a deactivate this account link. Um, you can click this download and archive of your data. It's going to ask you to re-authenticate and then you actually have to tell them, you know, you'd like to request an archive. Now, when you do that, it's not going to happen immediately. It's going to take about a day or two. What they're going to do is send you an email with a zip. It's a fairly large zip, in fact. Uh, let's open up my downloads area. And you'll see that I got a file that was 126 megabytes in size. Uh, and it's large because it gives you not just the uh, tweets themselves, but it gives you the uh, the images that you might have as well. So for example, once you extract that stuff, and I'm looking at the extracted version here as well, there's gonna be a your archive area, which is going to give you like a nice homepage for being able to locally. So this is local, see how it's you know going against that downloads area. Uh, basically a little mini Twitter website that you can come in and search against stuff. So I come in here and see when I switched to Mastodon, which was November 6th. It's actually really nice. Like somebody put some care and attention into this. Uh, this is much better than most archiving tools that I see out there. And again, if you come into the data area, there's a whole bunch of JavaScript files, uh, but there's also a bunch of media folders. So there's this uh, media one here where I can see, you know, individual images. Uh, that I may have, uh, you know, opened uh, or attached over the years, which is pretty cool. All my projects. These are things like I probably have in other formats, but, you know, it's really nice to have them uh, from that perspective. Looking at the actual code side of things, and, and let's do that by just coming over and uh, going into that downloads data directory, you'll see that there is a tweets.js file. And a lot of these JS files are essentially just JSON files uh, that have some sort of wrapper around it. So this is a giant array of every single tweet uh, that I've made over the years. So all 15,000 of them. That gives me a nice uh, just document that I could, you know, uh, make scripts against, do all kinds of fun stuff. I, I really appreciate this side of it. Gives you things like who retweeted it, uh, puts all the IDs in there if you ever need to do thing against the Twitter API. So that, that's really nice uh, from that perspective. It, it's a great way to be able to uh, you know, deal with your archive and, and, and manage your own stuff to a degree. Now, I wanted to go one further. I was a little worried about what's going on at Twitter, so I wanted to actually delete uh, my tweets. Now, you know, it's, it's not necessarily going to... Uh, delete everything that I've ever done over there. You know, like I'm sure stuff's still sitting on servers to a degree. Uh, this was just the least that I could do to maybe protect myself a little bit. Uh, I didn't necessarily want those 15,000 tweets in, you know, whatever entity Twitter's going to become. Uh, so I took it a step further and I used a tool called Tweet Delete. Uh, and if we come in here and let's go to maybe a private window of it, of Tweet Delete, uh, we can see um, you've got to sign in with your Twitter account. You've got to auth against it. And then at that point, what it'll do is you can delete, you can bulk delete everything that you have on Twitter. It has a bunch of nice things that you could do, like you can actually exclude individual tweets if you want. So for example, I excluded the one about me talking about Mastodon. Uh, and then really just some sentimental ones that I had, which were, uh, you know, pictures of, of me and my wife on our wedding day, which I would tweet almost every year. Uh, so I, I kept those ones up uh, and um, the rest of it, I, I, I was okay with it deleting. I also leave, I think I have it set up so that it keeps everything older than three months. Now everything's probably, I haven't been 
you know, uh, tweeting a lot lately, but uh, I did want to, the reason I didn't delete my Twitter profile overall is because, hey, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen on the future? I, I put a lot of time into my Twitter profile over the years. The other thing is I wanted a place for people to know where I'm going, right? That I'm over on Mastodon. Uh, and uh, so I didn't want to delete everything from that perspective. Now, if you do have more than 3,200 tweets, which, hey, if you've used Twitter a lot, you, you might be like me. You're going to need to take an extra step. You're actually going to need to pay this tweet delete service. I think it was like 10 bucks or 15 bucks. Uh, the ability to get their advanced mode. And the advanced mode basically gives you the ability to upload this tweets.js file. So you just drag it onto their uploader over here. Once it's uploaded, it will have a record of all your tweets and it can then not use the API uh, through its bulk system, but it then has the ID of every one of your tweets and it can go through and do those deletes. How, you know, safe is this service? I absolutely, I have no idea. You know, I'm, I'm not saying go do this type of thing, uh, you know, if you care about your security. I'm just saying I just wanted to get everything off of Twitter. For me, it was a decent enough service. Um, I looked at a couple of these different ones this one, while simple, did everything that I needed for it, and it was really only a one-time payment that I needed to do for it. So I went ahead and uploaded that uh, data file, and then it was able to go and you know uh, run the task to delete all of them. So I did that, it looks like, on November 11th. It deleted 15,000 uh, tweets. It did that over the course of, I think, maybe an hour or two. So it definitely had this like in a queue system. Um, but it worked pretty well. You can then also remove that data if you want. Look, does it remove the actual data? Does it delete that file? I have no idea. I'm not, again, I'm not looking at this from a security perspective. There's not too much secure that I'm worried about in Twitter. I just don't necessarily want like my public profile <laughs> over there. So using it, I was able to at least delete everything uh, and I could set up a task that it would continually delete things, um, you know, every couple days to, to purge my old record. Uh, so for me, this is what I did uh, to do that stuff. Again, if you have any questions, you can bug me. I'm over at social.davesteiner.com over on Mastodon. I did set up my own instance. Um, you feel free to ask me some questions over there. Uh, if you have any questions about how to deal with this stuff, go for it. Uh, this is just me kind of helping out a little bit. Good luck, folks. See ya.